Hello everyone, it's uh, Nick here, and we're looking at a game where I'm not quite sure if it's a serious attempt at a game or not, I'm still undecided. It's Super Grand Prix on the Commodore Amiga, published by Codemasters in 1991, also came out on the Atari ST. Now when I think of Codemasters, I think of really good racing games like Toka Touring Cars, which was to come later on the PlayStation. Uh, what's going on with this? Well, it's heavily influenced by Super Sprint, so it's top-down uh, racing. Uh, four different modes. Um, now, I'm the red car here, but it's virtually impossible to overtake. Does this look like a full price game or something? I don't know if it come out on budget. But basically, you can have up to six cars, four human players and two computer ones. If you're going for human players, it's the awkwardness of two joysticks and two twicks on the keyboard. But this just feels like a game you play back from the pub, really, when you've all had a bit to drink and then mess about. Now, there's four modes of play. Um, there's this Formula One mode, which is too tricky because you're all in the same car and you lose too much time when you crash into someone. You've got to win to progress to the next track. So there's Formula One mode, uh, then a motorbike mode, which is the same tracks, and also drag racing, which is absolutely hopeless. But the main event, as we come forth there, the main event is when you can have multiple cars. Um, well, we'll soon come to it. First, second, third and failed? Why not fourth? It just says failed, oh well. Replay or spacebar to continue. So yeah, this isn't the best game in the world. It's a fun game. Not quite sure where it sits or what they were trying to think of. But we'll have a go at all the bits and pieces. I prefer Super Sprint. Right, let's try the motorbikes out. But it's pretty much the same. So by doing these, you get the feel of how each vehicle feels to drive, because they do feel a little bit different. Uh, the motorbike uh, doesn't feel like a motorbike. Check out this turning circle for the motorbike, and the red one. Whoa, look at that skid round there, I'd be off the bike. Right, you got to win. Second place, oh dear, second place is not good enough. There's oil to avoid there, you see on the inside corner. We just went past. Right, I'm in third place, can I win? People are saying no. Now you see on the top there, that bar is the damage. If you get 100% damage, you're out. Well, the damage word goes all blue. I've never got all damage, really. On the main mode of the game, you can control a chieftain tank. Um, that moves incredibly slow, but um, it can fire at people, so that's probably how you get all your damage. Full power into a motorbike from a tank probably ain't the best. And we're out again. What are the positions? First, second, failed, and fourth. Why can't it just say third and then failed underneath? I don't know. Yeah, Codemasters. It, this game feels like a couple of guys off the um, the beaten track have made this game in their lunch break each time. Doesn't feel like a game. It also come out on the Atari ST. I'd imagine it looks exactly the same. Now let's look at the dragster race. Now this is the most hopeless of them all. The track is too small for dragsters. You can slow down by pushing back on the joystick which releases a parachute. But the cars need to be a lot smaller. Look at this. This is stupid. Go! Uh, look, I, uh, yeah, overtaking impossible here. Yeah, and the sound of these dragsters feel, sound like a bit like a banjo that's been stuck in the back end of a sick horse. Yeah, not, not, not the best sound in the world. Not a banjo, what do I mean, a harmonica, that's it. Banjo. Couldn't stick a banjo in a horse. That'd look a bit, no, no, move on! Uh, mixing my metaphors there. So I'm well last here, with about a lap to go. You can change the amount of laps needed, but, you know, I haven't drunk enough alcohol to play this game. If the car's about a tenth the size, this would probably work, this. So you can pretty much forget about those first three modes, they are absolutely hopeless. So we'll come to the main bit of the game then. Well, there's a choice of loads of cars here, all perform slightly differently, and that's where it turns into the wacky racers or some sort of gumball rally, and the game sort of like rescues itself ever so slightly. Super Grand Prix? I'm not sure about the superness of this one. 1991 Codemasters, yes, I've seen a lot better. It's like, um, I don't know, a public domain game or something. So here we go, we've got a C5 and a half, go cars. Oh uh, yeah, Celtic Special is a police car, they're Bigfoot. 
Now, the handling of Bigfoot's good because you can pretty much drive over the corners. So that's why I picked Bigfoot. Now, I've been hopeless up to this point. Let's hopefully I can get off the first track. Because there are a number of tracks on this, all look pretty similar. Two, one, right, go. here we go. So I'm versus the police car, some small car, and the Formula One cars at the back. Right, come on, Bigfoot. I'm in the lead. So it's me from the police car. I could probably drive over that oil slick. That wouldn't be too much of a problem. Right, I'm in the lead. Hooray, let's try and hold it. Hello, it's me again. And I'm holding it quite well. Sorry, I was just concentrating a bit there. Here we go. Broom, broom, broom. And other car noises. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say way -o. Okay. Right, I've got this, I've got this um, round, wound up. There we go, I've won. Hooray for everything. First. About time we saw that. Nick Jenkin is first. N Jenkin first, second the... Yeah, how did that car get into second place? And the Formula One car is last. Good. Three, two, two. One, go. Boom. Right, let's... Right, it's a bit more windy now, this one. A bit more windy, but we've got an easy lead. As soon as you get into leading this game, you can pretty much control it. But it's good, yeah, there's... Uh, Hairpins, oil slicks, bridges, and underpasses. I've never played this with six players. I expect to get pretty crazy if you're all selecting different cars. We'll probably have one more go after after this. Well, until I get knocked out. I want to see the tank, really. The tank's a good bit of the game. That's quite funny. So it's Bigfoot ahead of a Formula One car. You'd never see that in a normal race, would you? I mean, Bigfoot is a monster truck. It could never beat a Formula One car. Surely not. Now, we Bigfoot just smashed into that cart there. Gumbold, Wacky Racers, Super Rally. Where's Penelope Bitstock and Dick Dastardly? I think they're at lunch. First again. So, as you can see, it's got from ridiculously um, difficult to ridiculously easy in just one foul swoop. Two, one, go. Oh, so loads quite quickly, which um, damn right, because it's not really loading much. It feels like um, a game you play on your phone. I'm uh, I'm slowly warming to it, but I probably won't be loading it again anytime soon, unless I'm really really bored. Right, I'm in third place. I've got to pass the police car and the Formula One car. Concentrate, Nick. Concentrate. Oh dear. Oh, slid on the oil. This isn't looking brilliant, is it, folks? Ah, uh, yes. Bigfoot's having trouble. See. If you crash into anything, you lose so much time, and I'm never going to catch up a Formula One car. That's in full flight now. One lap to go. Not happening. I don't think many people would have been aware of this game. I don't think it won any awards, you know. I'm not sure how long it took to code. Even when they finished it, I bet they was unsure whether to release it or not. Right, third, no, third failed. Oh, dear. So we'll go into one extra championship, see if we can randomise the tank up. But it's, you know, it's uh, pointless choosing the tank to win any races because it just moves so slow. If you was all in tanks, I suppose it'd be pretty, well, I was going to say exciting and boring. Right, cop car, Formula 1 car. What should we pick? Let's pick the Formula 1 car, shall we? Or shall we pick the C5? Formula 1 car. That should be everything on the block. Get off to a good start, leave everyone behind, then goodbye. See you later. Bienvenue. That's exhausted all my languages, I know. Right, here we go. Back on track one. Oh, the tank's in it this time. The Formula One car, in a Ferrari, Bigfoot and the cop car. Now, that tank, it's firing at everything, but it's been left well behind. It's going to serve as a bit of a roadblock here, I think. Right, I'm in the lead. In my lovely Ferrari. Right, a Ferrari going around a tank. That's not something you see every day, but we've done it. Bigfoot going around a tank, a cop car going around a tank. Right, we're all round. Got hardly any damage. And I'm winning this by a country mile. Boom. Yes, goodbye, tank. Zoom. Zoom. 
Yeah. Right. There we go. That's a nice easy win. Grand Prix? Super Grand Prix. I'm not sure about the Super. How many games were called Super Grand Prix? The Nintendo must have had a game on it called Super Grand Prix. They put Super on the start of everything. Super Ice Cream Maker. Super Sausage. I think mean, I made those two up. But everything else they put Super on. Right, this track's a bit twisty. Right, here we go. The Police versus Formula One. I haven't seen a police car on the Formula One grid this season. Oh, get out of the way, Bigfoot. Right, good. Big feet. Right, he's got a quicker turning circle around here. Take the outside. Oh, inside. <laughs> yeah, if you drove a Formula One car into a tank, I think it'd be pretty much ruined. Straight away. Where is that tank gone? Oh, there it is. It was under the, under the underpass. Right, I don't think we'll be playing this too much longer, you know. Right, let's get around this thing. Yep, good. Oh, close. I'd like to see a car explode, I'm not sure it does. I seem to be the only car that take damage in this, computer cars don't, but if they do, they're keeping a secret tally. Yeah, so you can you can quite um see the influence of Super Sprint and Champion Sprint here from the arcades. That's where it's took its influence, I can't see if anywhere else it took it from. And it's not too bad for an early 90s game, but um, yeah, is it? I don't know. I'm still not sure. One, go. What do you think of it? Did you have it? Did you buy it? Did you have it on a disc? Let me know. Um, I wouldn't mind playing this game online, you know, but there's no online function with this Amiga game. Online. What was that in the Amiga days? We well, did not know. Close you can get one online is everyone in the world go around someone's house. Two on the joystick, two on the keyboard. <laughs> Have you ever, did you ever do that? Two people playing on the keyboard with different keys, all leaning across. That was madness. There was Lotus Esprit Challenge, which had a mode where you could connect two Amigas together and have four players playing at the same time. And uh, that was the dream, eh? It was either Lotus 1 or Lotus 2, and I never got round to doing it. I never could work it out. I think you needed some sort of cable or something. And that was my dream, having a computer room with two Commodore Amigas in it to play that game all the time. Man, how time change. First. The tank was fourth. I don't think the tank's ever won any uh, any Three, prizes. Two, one, go. go. Hmm. Right, here we go. Oh, boom. Oh, that was close. Two oil, two oil slips on this one. Oh yeah, this this track could be my Achilles heel. It's got a little bend in it. Or a little kink there down the bottom. Right, we're all stuck behind this tank. Apart from the cop car. It might be Robocop. He's going, right, come back, Robo. Dun 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 dun. Right, I'm through on the inside. Brilliant. Here we go. Zippity doodah. I, I don't know why I said that. Yay, and I win just about from Robo. Bigfoot in third. There we go. How long has this review been going on for? Much longer than I intended it. I intended it to be under 10 minutes, but I've been drawn in. You get games that draw you in, don't you? Right, make this the last one. Oops, it might well be the last one after that start. Oh dear. Right, so it's the police first. Second Bigfoot, who's driving over the police. Me third. We can still do the... Oh dear. Come on. Overtaking is tricky on these tight corners. Right, get out of the way. Oh, now I... Oh, uh, oh, oh. That's Curdens. I can't come back from half a lap down. That tank's ruined everything. Boo! Stupid tank. Right, this is going to take some amazing driving. No nitros or upgrades on this. Car handles quite well, actually. Super Sprint was a bit tricky to control, I have to say that. Yeah. I'd like to play this as an arcade cabinet, actually. Stand up and play it. That would be quite cool. I'm, I'm going to be out here. Oh, nice graphics around the side. I like those parasols. For, uh, so failed. Failed again. We got the failed. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I think we'll leave the review there. So that was Super Grand Prix on the Commodore Amiga. I'm still not 100% sure about it. Is it good? Is it bad? I think it might be middling. Uh, published by Codemasters in 1991.
Thanks for watching as always. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe. Put your thoughts below. Until next time, take care and goodbye. Goodbye.